growing up. I was always driven, I was always motivated. I remember coming home to my mum and she was saying, well, you've got a choice. You can either like settle, just fall in with the crowd or you can work really hard. You can have your dream life, your dream job, but you have to work for it and that's your choice. My mum is just an incredible person. She's just so selfless and kind. My dad worked tirelessly and worked so, so, so hard to get to where he was. He was a pharmacist and had um, three of his own shops. And that's what's really made me have that drive and that ambition to be able to provide for myself. My brother's like my best friend and he's an incredible person. He'd been like the driving force behind me, like my own like cheerleading team almost. I chose to do chemical engineering because there were so many doors that would open at the end of it. So I did a master's degree in that at Strathclyde University. I'll never forget the time I was driving into my driveway and one of my new neighbours was walking past with his dogs and he'd said, does your man work at the distillery? I just took a moment and I said, no, no, I, I run the distillery, I'm the manager there. And his face just dropped and it was one of the best moments in my life. I think the biggest obstacle is self-doubt, but then it's recognising those, those, um, those inner voices and stopping them and turning them in its head and just seeing the positives. I went to a dinner recently where Michelle Obama was the keynote speaker. She'd said, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to get it wrong, to fail. And fail, fail a lot, fail hard, but at least you've tried it and get up and um, kind of brush yourself off and you'll be okay. Nobody's perfect. Just be yourself and stop comparing yourself to others because perfection doesn't exist.